Today, the chamber is going to hear the statement of civil party group two, three civil parties, a according to the last revised schedule. The graphic is now instructed to report the attendance of the parties to the proceedings and the persons concerned. The graphic, Mr. President, the parties to the proceedings today are all present. The civil parties. Madame que les parties civiles. M. Sonti, Madame M. Sonti, Madame Sontari Pangot, and uh, another civil party are all present, awaiting call from the trial chamber. The President, uh, Mr. Alain, you take the floor. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. President. I would have um, a very quick I am hearing in, in Khmer in the channel 2. Look, I want to. The President, uh, Mr. Alain Wagner, could you please uh, repeat uh, your statement because uh, we only heard just a very little translation from your previous statement. Yes, Your Honor. I would have a very, very short request for you, Mr. President. Yesterday, when my, the, my last client, uh, Mr. Pali, testified or, or talked to this court, um, he told you about his arm, what happened to his, to his arm, and I should have, and I did not, and that is my mistake. I should have asked you um, for the record to reflect that indeed his left arm um, has been amputated because he was not sworn in and because he's here today. Can I ask your leave? simply, and he could maybe stand up, simply for the record to reflect that indeed, as he, as he told you, indeed his left arm has been amputated at the elbow. Can I just ask your leave for the record to reflect that fact? That's everything I'm asking. Thank you. The president, uh, the chamber allows uh, you to do that. So, Mr. Ned Pali, could you please oui, rise? Uh, nous faisons droit à votre demande. Je vous invite donc à vous lever, Monsieur Ned Pali. And uh, please uh, show your amputated uh, left arm. Votre membre amputé. So we can now see that uh, your left arm was Nous amputated, and yesterday we already heard amputé, your account in relation gauche. to. Hier, vous nous avez fait the le problem, actually, uh, what happened uh, to you that caused your uh, left arm to be amputated. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. Maître Werner, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Le Président, Maître Stuczynski. Le Président, Miss Silke Stuczynski, you take the floor. Prie. Yes, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, I would like to make first uh, a request to the Chamber uh, regarding the order of the appearance of the civil parties today. And I would like to uh, ask and agree, and the civil parties agree upon this, uh, of course, that we here first, um, M. Sunti, and then Madame second, um, Ms. Uh, Pung Sunteri, and then Mr. Siung Bandi. 
Madame Soutari Peng Gut et enfin M. Siang Wan. Regarding the time allocated to Ms. Im Sunti and Madame Im Sunti, 30 minutes and her daughter Mrs. Peng Suntari, I would like to make the request to the chamber to allow us to take this time uh, for both as je vous one uh, portion because uh, already the introduction and personnes. the uh, documents uh, to which I uh, refer concern both civil parties and uh, are rather time-consuming to uh, note all the ERN numbers and so on. So I think uh, it would be, uh, I would appreciate if you allow us to um, take this time for both civil parties uh, as one portion together and not to separate it and 30 minutes and 3 hours and 30 minutes so that we can deal on our own with this time allocated. These are my two requests. Thank you. Le soin de répartir ce temps total entre les deux personnes concernées. The President, uh, your request is granted. Oui, nous faisons droit à votre and, demande. Uh, the Chamber hereby allows you to follow the requested order. There is no procedural defect in relation to the hearing of the statement of the civil parties in any orders. The court official is now instructed to call de Madame Sunti Im. D'accompagner Madame Im Sunti à la barre. The President, good morning, Madame. Bonjour, Madame. Im. Im Sun Ti. Is your name? Est-ce que votre nom? Um, oh, Sun Ti Im, as I already said. Eh bien, Sun Ti Im. I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I did not get the answer. Uh, uh, could you please repeat your question? Or I don't know if on a pas entendu la the answer was Madame Madame Yusuti, not stated or what happened, but to Je start again. Ce Thank passé, you. Mais vous est -il possible de répéter la question? The President, uh, I myself has not heard Le from her because uh, she appeared not to have responded to Je my question yet, uh, so I will la ask her ne again. Répondu. Je répète donc ma question. Madame Um Sun Ti, is Madame your name Um Sun Ti? Est-ce que votre nom est bien Um Sun Ti?
The President, uh, the court official, could you please uh, make Le sure that uh, we can hear from her? Because uh, could you please move the mic a little bit away from her face? Uh, because actually, the, uh, to make sure that she can actually see the red light, and I myself or the judges of the bench can also see the red light. La partie civile voit la lumière rouge et que les Madame juges voient cette Sunti, lumière rouge aussi. Please to my Madame Imsunti, donc, pouvez-vous répondre Madame Imsunti, good morning, Mr. President Madame and Your Honours. My name is Imsunti. Bonjour, oui, je m'appelle bien Imsunti. President, how old are you Le Président, quel âge avez-vous Response, I'm 70 years old. The president, what is your nationality? Response, Réponse, I am Cambodian. Je suis Cambodian. Question. Question, where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Response, Réponse. I was born in Phnom Penh. Je suis né à Phnom Penh, 104, numéro 6. Question. Where do you live now? Où habitez-vous actuellement? Réponse. I now live with my children at Tuolcork. Question. What is your occupation? Occupation. Que faites-vous? Response. Réponse. In 1979, en 79, I worked at the Ministry of Public Transport. Au ministère des Transports Publics. But now I am a, re a pensioner. Mais aujourd'hui, je suis à la retraite. Question. Question. From the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979, where had you lived? What did you do? Response. From the 17th of April 1975, I, like other people in the country were Le 17 avril 75, evacuated comme from the city and were made to work hard. Et j'ai été contraint à travailler dur. We were separated from our family members. Nous avons été séparés du reste de notre famille. We were not given enough food and we were made uh, to work very hard et and et as the president already knows pénible. the work during this black cloth regime Comme vous le savez, uh, was brutal les conditions de vie sous intensive. le régime de l'époque étaient brutales. Question, what is your parents' name? Question, quel est le nom de vos parents? Response. Réponse. My father's name was Um Toi. Um Toi. He was the principal of Il the principal Pidako in French, uh, École Annex Normal. Uh, L'école normale. He dies. Il est aujourd'hui décédé. Question. What Question. is your mother's name? Quel était le nom de votre mère? Response. Réponse. She is Trasso. And uh, she was a teacher in Phnom Penh. Enseignante à Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Can you tell the court about your marital status? Pouvez-vous dire à la chambre si vous êtes marié? Response. I got married Réponse. to Je Professor Peng Ton on Peng the 15th of 
June 1955, he was a professor who was executed by the Pol Pot uh, people. Par, uh, le de Pol Pot. In 1975, the 17th of April, I was evacuated uh, along with my children and relatives. The president, uh, could you please uh, hold on? You may proceed with the account of your story. Later on, we only need to ask for the information in relation to your identification and uh, some basic information needed uh, at this stage, and you will be allowed the floor to tell the court in details about cela, uh, the details accounts. We would like now to give the floor to the civil party lawyer group two to briefly tell the court uh, about uh, the identity of Madame M. Sunti and, and the reason Sunti. she has joined as et, a civil party and also the grounds uh, for the claims for civil reparation and uh, in relation to the alleged, alleged facts in which de de the accused Kang Kek Eo alias Deutsch is the accused before the chamber. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I will make this uh, introduction uh, for Mrs. Im Sun Ti and for uh, Mrs. Uh, Pung Sun Tari, the daughter, together because it's uh, fille, related. Sultari. Um, Madame Im Sun Ti um, has submitted already a copy of her identity card and uh, to the chamber. Um, and uh, same uh, for Mrs. Uh, Pung Sun Tari, who Même has as well the French Sunta consular card. Uh, qui, uh, the Tsapa background this civil party, Mrs. Im Sun Ti, and her daughter, who Madame will appear after her, uh, Ms. Pung Sun Tari, is the following. Ms. Im Sun Ti lost her husband during a perdu son époux the decay period and learned later that her husband was killed in S21. S21. Um, she was not aware during the DK period because of the separation of families uh, that her mari. husband was already killed. Et ce, alors que For son mari her daughter, <coughs> who represents sa fille. then the whole family as well as Ms. Im Sun Ti, um, she lost Im Sun -ti. her father, uh, the professor uh, Mr. Pungton, who was the former dean of the, of, of, the of the University of Phnom Penh and a law professor. Un professor de droit. <coughs> she as well, the daughter, Ms. Pung Sun Tari, was not aware during the DK uh, period what Pengagut happened to su à l'époque du campus démocratique ce qui était advenu de son père. The interest to become here a civil party for both is to preserve Ces deux femmes sont aujourd'hui partie civile parce qu'elles souhaitent the husband préserver la mémoire and the father de leur père and de leur époux et père the truth aussi concerning the fate of Mr. Pungton, which is until now still hidden, and although several witnesses were si asked, and the, including the accused, to disclose information concerning 
those civil parties and the whole family is still left without any knowledge of what happened exactly to their husband and father. Concerning the reparations, both civil parties, Ms. M. Sonti and Ms. Pongsuntari, will leave these questions to their lawyers. I will now give the, chambers, uh, the chamber um, documents that are, were submitted uh, to support Voici les documents the civil party application. And the these documents civil. are all on the case file Ces documents, tous étaient and au dossier. can be grouped uh, as follows. There are first de la different prisoner lists Il y a where listes de prisonniers Mr. Puncton appears Puncton different times apparaît. and uh, shows that he was, moments, when he was still uh, alive, preuve du fait il était can vivant. be called alive, ah, and then date, si peut, a biography, uh, an autobiography, and different letters that he lettres, wrote um, and who are preserved. De la main, um, uh, I will give as far as possible uh, the uh, ERN numbers, um, numéros, uh, and I uh, start with, um, with document uh, D25-5-7, the Khmer ERN is 00188-47 through 00188-8. Uh, five zero. Sorry, zero, I forgot one eight um, and I repeat the Khmer number. It is zero zero one this is one prisoner list. Another prisoner list is the document number, has a document number D25-5-8. The Khmer ERN is 0018885-3 through 0018885-6. The English um, ERN is 0023-4961 through 0023 4961 Seven four five through zero zero two three nine seven five zero. Um, then the next prisoner list is D twenty five slash five slash nine with the Khmer ERN zero zero one eight 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 five eight through five nine and with the Khmer uh, uh, sorry with the English ERN zero zero two three nine zero. One four zero 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 two three nine zero one six. Ah, says um, en anglais. And then next prisoner list is D twenty five slash five slash twelve. This is a, a Khmer, um, Khmer. There have only the Khmer uh, year and number, which is uh, zero zero one eight 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 seven seven through zero zero one eight. Eight eight seven nine, ah, and then the last pr uh, prisoner list where Mr. Pumton appeared, that is in the document with the number D twenty five slash five slash thirteen, and this has the Khmer ERN zero zero one eight 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 one through zero zero one eight 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 two. And the English ERN is 
Then, um, an, another document to Un support document the, qui vient the application and the civil party application of um, these two civil parties is the biography de de um, from civil, uh, S21, um, which is S21 on the case file under document number D25-5-9. Uh, 0018857 and through 0018859 and the English uh, ERN is 0023 um, 9013 then uh, um, in the case file is another document which is an autobiography um, that uh, this Ce document ne vient pas de S21, mais a été Then uh, there are supporting documents which are letters uh, written uh, by Mr. Puncton uh, when he was Ce sont des lettres abroad, écrites par um, le professeur Puntung lorsqu'il était à l'étranger. Which will, uh, where the civil parties will refer to later Et on. Les parties These letters can be found under the document numbers D25-5-1. Elles sont à la cote D25-5-1. With the French... Um, Et figure à la cote de la française, originale, uh, original, it La cote um, 0022-4277 à 78. Il y a également une lettre en date de mai 1975, lettre qui est de l'étranger, figure à la cote D25-5-2, c'est également une lettre qui est en langue française. And then the last uh, Et figure uh, à la cote 00518-13 à 14. The document number D25-5-3 également de configurant la cote D25-5-3 uh, uh, du mois de décembre and, um, 75. Uh, C'est une lettre the, qui a été écrite uh, de l'étranger uh, qui est en langue uh, française. Uh, 15 and uh, in Khmer 00284318. Qui figure à la cote française 00184815 so uh, et à la cote Khmer 00284318. Of course, refer uh, are the basis and supporting documents for both documents civil party for Mrs. Im Sun Ti and for uh, Mrs. Pung Sun Terry. Uh, I would like to inform the chamber that first, Im Sun Ti and Pung Sun Terry. Mrs. Im Sun Ti, uh, will um, uh, uh, the Im Sun Ti will give her statement and Im Sun Ti will give her statement and refer to her personal suffering. Présenter sa déposition um, va décrire la souffrance qu'elle a endurée en tant que femme du professeur Pung Tong. Et elle 
fera cette déclaration pour préserver um, la mémoire et honorer la mémoire de son mari. Um, C'est une statement déclaration qui sera relativement brève. The daughter, um, la fille Mrs. de Mme Imsunti, um, à savoir Mme Poum Suntari, présentera plus longuement son récit des événements. Madame, je dois le préciser, Mme Imsunti est en état de so far, um, à une santé fragile. Mrs. Uh, comme j'ai dit, elle s'est déjà uh, évanouie. Like to give only the et and, um, Madame Insuti souhaiterait uh, so far, read it out. s'en tenir à la and, présentation uh, de sa she déclaration. Feels not able to, uh, et elle ne then, se sent pas uh, capable so de répondre aux questions. Et je suggérerais de pouvoir permettre à la fille qui représente la famille dans son ensemble pourra répondre aux questions au moment où elle viendra déposer. Je voulais également vous informer le fait que Mme Pongsuntari a préparé une déclaration qu'elle présentera à la Chambre et bien évidemment, elle pourra répondre à des questions complémentaires. Madame Pongo Tsuntari aura à la fin de sa déclaration des questions à poser à l'accusé qui qu'elle posera par l'intermédiaire ou qu'elle souhaitera poser par l'intermédiaire de la chambre à l'accusé. Vous ne encore mentionné, mais je souhaitais que la déposition de ces deux parties civiles se fasse d'un tenant. Car jusqu'à présent, l'ensemble des documents auxquels j'ai fait référence concerne ces deux parties civiles. Et je souhaiterais à présent donner la parole par votre intermédiaire aux deux parties civiles et à Madame Im Sunti, le président. Madame Im Sunti, vous pouvez à présent Related to the events and facts, faire votre déposition devant la Chambre, becoming the civil party to discuss and the facts and crimes alleged on the dossier accused Gangetier Valisdouj. Civil party, Mr. President, I would seek your permission for my medical assistant to sit next to me. Uh, votre President, permission que de savoir que ma soignante uh, puisse s'asseoir à mes côtés. Le président, j'invite l'aide-soignante de Mme Inbsuti à se placer à côté de cette dernière. Civil party. In 1975, my family and I were evacuated from ma our home. Notre, uh, we were walking together with my parents Nous as the rest avec of the people in the country. Comme le reste des, my um, husband was abroad. Personne. He was Et on a mission in Switzerland. Marie était à l'étranger. Il était en mission a law à, en Suisse. Specializing était, in international un law. professeur de droit, spécialiste du droit international. And he was also an expert in the law C'était of the également sea. un spécialiste dans le domaine du droit maritime. 1975. Le 6 mars 1975. There were Several bombardments in the vicinity of Chamchang and Pochintong, près de Chamchang et de Pochintong. And I would not be able to travel him at the Pochintong airport. My two younger siblings. Je ne suis pas passé en mesure de le suivre jusqu'à l'aéroport de Pochintong. Mes deux 
favor him off at the Air Cambodge office south of South May at 3.30 p.m. because of the tremendous bombardments at the time. I was anxious at the time too. And during that period, we had no mobile phones. I sat at his office waiting for his telephone call whether he reached the Pointon airport. I was so concerned due to the serious bombardment at the time. Étant donné les bombardements qui sévissaient, à ce moment-là, j'attendais son appel jusqu'à et j'ai attendu jusqu'à 19 heures. Et finalement, he called me. Enfin, il m'a appelé. It was the 16th of March, as I said. Nous he arrived in Bangkok. Mars, comme dit, il arrivait. He spoke il at length. Il est arrivé à Bangkok et Asked me to take care of myself and the family as I had not been well. My health was poor at the time. À l'époque, je n'étais pas en bonne santé. He told me again and again to take care of myself, and that I should not force the children to go to school. Et de ne pas forcer les enfants à aller à l'école. Because he knew that I wanted the children to be well educated, and he begged me not to force them to school because of the unpredictable bombardments in the city, and that I myself stood only focused on my health. Dont les projectiles pouvaient toucher n'importe quel endroit de la ville. Observe the situation and made a decision accordingly whether the children should be sent to school or not. He talked at length and I did not want him to waste money on the telephone bill because we were strict on the expense. Parce que cela. C'était quelque chose que nous devions prendre en charge sur les frais. During our evacuation at 9:30 a.m., when we were ordered to leave our house, à 9h30 du matin, on nous a second eldest son was not with us, but because we were forced, so we had to move. À ce moment-là, et donc on nous a cependant forcé de partir. Before the fall of Phnom Penh, Avant la I chute de Phnom Penh, j'ai reçu une from lettre de sa Geneva. part, une lettre qui provenait de Genève. In the letter, he Dans cette lettre, il reiterated his wish for me to take care of my souhait, health and that I should not force the children or be too firmed with the children. These are the two main points of his letter. I actually had a son. He got polio. And during the evacuation, Mr. President, it was miserable as he had to drag his leg. There was no support for him. And the relatives, they had to take care of their children as well. And my youngest child, who was six years old at the time, was so hungry. When I left, I took along his letter, his last letter, and the voice I heard on the telephone from Thailand was the last voice of him that I had ever heard. His letter was exactly the same as what he spoke on the phone from Thailand. He 
He understood my firm stance toward the children, and that's the reason. That's one of the reasons he reiterated in his letter and on the telephone. When I left, I also brought along some family photos, and also I had a photo in my wallet. But everywhere we passed through, we were searched. And all the photos, even a wallet photo, uh, were des, uh, seized. Uh, I got a photo of my child studying in Germany as an engineer. De, uh, mon étudiant, and uh, the connection was with his uh, friend who, who was on a mission with him uh, in Paris in France. Une personne qui étudiait avec lui et qui était basée en France. When Mr. Ng Pech made a presentation about my husband, my son stood up and said that the person you spoke about was my father. And during that gathering, Et au cours de cette there was an elder woman who claims to be my husband's friend, femme, and she gave uh, some photos to my la fa, la son, and there was a photo de of my husband. Et elle a donné so in a, summary, photo de my photos mari. were all gone. Donc, en résumé, they je were all confiscated. Photos. Toutes les photos familiales ont été confisquées. My Husband's hobby was reading books and researching documents. De mon, euh, mari, la he lecture, did not ever waste any time. Il His time and scheduling of the day was always strict and precise. À chaque fois, il avait un programme bien déterminé. Sometimes he had me read a French book or a lecture text. However, I did not really understand well due to my limited French knowledge. And he taught me. For instance, when he asked me to read a law book in French, after my reading, he would explain to me what the law was about in Khmer, so that my understanding in the legal area would expand. National, de manière à ce que je and mieux with that knowledge, then I would uh, be able to educate the children well. J'étais à, à mon tour capable de uh, d'instruire les enfants I et de prodiguer aux enfants une bonne instruction. Also provided my assistance to my husband si, to the best of my capacity. For instance, when he had to exemple, correct homework for the children, then I would classify the homeworks je and I would devoirs, help him with the ordering of those marks he gave to the homework. So we too were so close during the 20 years period. We had never had any single argument. And I would seek his advice on my shortcomings in my character. And he had a knowledge of understanding my my character, my psychological habit, and that he would seek a way to explain to me of my shortcomings. And he would tell me the difference between black and white. There would be no gray area. And that was him, that was my husband. In at least and during his tenure, en plus, his contacts with the French embassy or other embassies, poste, then some journalists that 
and the newspapers that he read, then he would collect all those clips and I would arrange them, organize them for him. So in short, he educated me very well to understand the right from the wrong and to make myself progress. During the time that I was with him, I felt the warmth I received from him and that I was one of the lucky women who had a very kind and understanding husband and who departed his knowledge to me. I also lent him a hand whenever I could je lui so that I forte, je would be accustomed to the way the work was done and be familiar with his work. Il also, during the time that I had to carry a water, I imagine of his time in Geneva or in France je, that he was lucky to be there, but here in Cambodia um, I had to carry water from the river. À Genève, hein, ce qu'il pouvait faire d'intéressant, mais moi au Cambodge, je portais. I slipped and fell. Then I felt on the bank of the river as it was steep. I had to carry the water from the river to fill in the pot, the main pot at the kitchen. I also had to look after my mother because my elder children were separated and they lived in different cooperatives. I only lived with my younger children and the kitchen was huge for the cooperative and I had to supply with enough water for the kitchen. The river bank there was so steep so I had to use a stick to support myself while I carried the water. Alors que je portais My elder daughter was also sent to the location the where they built the dam and she had to carry the soil. Barrage, so was my son. Porter, uh, I suffered a lot during the time. Uh, and the food ration given by Anka was so little. Et At that time, the, the rice was wrapped mixed with grass and some mud. It was nothing much in there, very little rice. And I had to give the food, that food, to my children. We were so mistreated during that regime. Even my mother, who had lived through various wars, she learned a few tricks from those wars, and she told me to cook rice from the rice that they distributed in the morning, so that she could divide it, she could divide those rice into little pieces, and then she could give those rice to the children. Sometimes they really mistreated us. They cook the rice cooking pot that we ate was there was. They defecated in that pot. They treated us like animals. And we dare not to do anything. My father one day went to cut the bamboo. Un jour, mon père est allé couper and he was not well as well. And on that day, it was raining. And he had to carry the bamboo back. Il dû ramener le bambou.
He had a fever, so I went to ask for some medicines from the village medical office. From the medicines I got, I gave to my father, and he got Caesar because that pills were made from a poisonous tree. Les pilules contenaient une substance and euh, then I went en, again to see that person. I said, et, um, Mr. A, Chief, uh, could you please send my father to the sector hospital? He was so ill. Et au chef and that chief was actually young, but I had to call the chief santé, like Mr. Et j'ai dû m'adresser au chef du village. My father did not say anything cela because of the effect of that poisonous pill. Euh, mon père n'a pas été guéri, au contraire. Il a I repeatedly asked permission from the village chief. Et j'ai demandé à maintes reprises la permission auprès du chef du village. And que l'on l'envoie à l'hôpital. There was no gain to keep. Et on m'a répondu qu'on ne gagnait rien and, à nous garder. And there was no gains to lose or to get rid of. Et que notre and he scolded my n'était pas une perte. Father, he was a type of person who Et did not know any morality. Qui ne connaissait pas l'immoralité. It is not Cambodian culture. Cela ne fait pas partie de la culture cambodgienne. And I was so upset because I was so pitiful on my father. Bouleversé parce I was que so angry, pitié de so de I spilled out. En colère. If you have parents dit, like this, si did you ever think of ça? your parents? If si there was no gain to keep là. them? Que so it means you do not have to feed your father or mother? C'est-à-dire que and my younger brother was parents, very afraid that I would be taken and killed. So he dragged me away et and begged the chief. And he apologized lui. to the person et that because I loved excuse. my father so much, that's why I was so et upset. Moi, and if I was taken and killed, then nobody si would take care of my children, and I had seven children. Pu, uh, de mes enfants. Sept enfants. And uh, later on, I was given some medicine. I was put tard, on a bed uh, while charcoal, hot charcoal was put a uh, place underneath. Uh, and uh, I developed some blisters. Uh, 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 later on, uh, my children died, including my mother tard, and my auntie. Ma mère, ma my auntie was like my famille, biological mother because she had taken good care of me all the way and that uh, they all perished et toutes ces personnes ont trouvé la mort. because they were given the medicines, a kind of very poisonous medicines uh, that en fait put them to death et qui les a fait mourir. And I could imagine how difficult the life of my father would uh, be because having lived uh, in such a regime, I experienced these uh, barbaric acts and I talked about this to my Les ont duré relatives par, euh, moi and même even during the time when food uh, was deprived, uh, we talked about eating chicken with some kind of ginger sauce. Gingembre. Having said that, uh, among our children, 
Then we were taken to be re-educated and we were warned not to even mention about eating such bourgeoisie food like that. So even the young people like my children who talked about being hungry, about eating delicious or more delicious food were warned not to talk about this again because it represented the idea of the imperialist or the bourgeoisie regime. And uh, our children actually were educated uh, by I and my husband to be brave, to, to be able to challenge any tough situation. Affronter toute situation difficile. We were living together in the cooperative, and one day when my children were very sick, and I asked uh, the chief of the unit uh, so that he could be treated. However, I found it difficult to actually to get Mais such a permission. And uh, another je je pas cette autorisation. Ch child of mine was good uh, at uh, producing some kind of tortures and uh, he could uh, also go fishing. He was six years old, Excellé but he could catch uh, some fish. Ans, and because of that, uh, he was uh, punished cela, by puni. being exposed uh, to the sunlight because he was accused of damaging the young rights plants in the paddy fields because he caught a fish in those fields. And uh, after my child uh, committed that alleged uh, wrongdoing and was warned and punished, uh, my I myself Il was also called uh, to be uh, to, to build myself. I I didn't understand the word building myself because I was uh, put to sit down uh, on the paddy dike uh, and that I was told that uh, I was a f liberal person. I was ill-disciplined. Uh, I got used to living in the city. So uh, like uh, father, like son, like mother, like uh, daughter, because uh, you people uh, got used to uh, the city uh, lifestyle, so you should now be warned uh, not to behave like that again. I would like now to make it brief because I feel rather exhausted uh, uh, telling the details, uh, uh, although it was uh, telling it, but uh, I would like to skip to Et the time uh, when we came to Phnom Penh. I would, I would like to ask you uh, uh, to make it easier. Uh, a question that you could describe for the chamber um, when you learned about the time when you learned first what happened to your husband and if you could start to describe this first and then a little raconter. bit about how you're suffering Et ensuite, vous pourriez today, nous en dire uh, un peu plus sur les souffrances ressenties depuis lors et jusqu'à ce jour. Respond. Thank you. In 1979, when I returned to Phnom Penh, je suis rentré à Phnom Penh. I felt that uh, my husband could. Uh, Et je pensais be que reunited with us, but later on I learned that uh, he par la suite were detained at S21. 
When my father died, uh, I was already deeply depressed. Quand mon père However, mort, euh, it déjà really été très affecté et shocked me, and it was a really complete uh, distress uh, when I ma lost uh, my husband. It's a kind of tremendous grief, and I don't know how I can really put uh, this into words to explain or to describe uh, to the chamber to understand how huge uh, the suffering I had have, uh, having lost my Cette loving husband. Par la perte It has been more than 30 years, but times only intensify my grief. I have never chagrin. been happy and I have been terrified depuis. and living with trauma. Dans la terreur et dans le traumatisme. So every minute of every day I chaque minute could de chaque jour qui passe. never forget to think of him Je pense and uh, sometimes I had to sit down and to even find the very quiet moment uh, on my own to think of how I could really manage the life uh, and uh, the livelihood of my seven children because I was left songer. alone. Uh, without the support or uh, assistance uh, of my husband. Seul, uh, and I know for sure that my children, as they were well educated uh, by my husband, uh, they really want to learn more and they want to be well educated. Uh, having had this in my mind, uh, I started to be feeling even more worried uh, of how I could really cope uh, with this. Because uh, at the beginning, we started from scratch again with seven children without a husband. Sans la présence de mon mari. And uh, sometime, I even attempted to commit suicide uh, because I just want to finish off everything and to finish this hardship. Je voulais abréger cette peine. It is actually impossible for me not to feel sympathetic uh, for the my husband uh, who could have been inflicted some kind of tortures and sufferings uh, in the regime during the time when he was in his captivity. If he lived, uh, he would uh, be of all kind of assistant uh, when needed uh, because he was a very caring husband and father and in our family we had experienced some kind of difficulties and hardship but uh, the situation was uh, degenerating when uh, this had to be uh, dealt with without uh, my husband cela a été bien pire sans mon mari. And uh, now I can see that my children are brave whenever they they are outspoken people and uh, because they were well trained uh, by their father although many believe that they seem to be aggressive by behaving like that but the way that my husband uh, would them would like them to be is to be uh, brave and, and, and creative like that however I can't stop weeping and crying, Moi, je ne peux but I never made uh, it known to my children. I je had pleurer, to close my bathroom door and then make je use of this very exemple, 
lonely moment to cry pour pleurer out loud in that uh, bathroom seul but et not to make my children de sorte hurt. que mes enfants ne l'entendent pas and uh, i earn very little at the ministry au ministère des Transports publics, je gagnais un tout petit salaire. And I had to support my family and I never wanted to ask any assistance uh, from my relatives, sisters uh, or brothers because I just uh, would like to shoulder this alone and I knew for sure that my family uh, have been in the very desperate uh, position also. However, I would like to be proud to be uh, alone here anyway to raise the children, although it is very difficult. Uh, as a widow, si en tant que veuve, in uh, Cambodian society, normally it is enfants, well criticized. Uh, and however, I have been behaving in the way uh, like I perform two roles as a man and as a woman, Je a husband and wife at the same time. So de, I have to teach my fois, children to cook for them and, and also the most important thing is to tell them to be able to struggle uh, to hold on to life. Lutter pour avancer dans la vie. When I come to these hearings to be part, uh, to observe the hearings at this tribunal, de la chambre, I have visualized uh, the brutality of the regime and when Robert Hamill put uh, the photo Robert Hamill of the person a who la photo was seen struggling in a pool of blood, uh, it really shocked me because I could imagine how uh, difficult life could have been for my husband at that time and I could not really control my feeling at that time and sometimes I passed out. So I can only survive these days because I have to consume medication. One day when I was at home to watch the movie uh, in which I saw the shackles and people were being shackled and I could not uh, really there see those uh, footages dans les prisons pour petites mais c'était là pour moi une vue insoutenable Maître Stutinski. Um, I would like to make uh, to put another question Madame to Infanti. you and maybe to uh, make a conclusion that you have uh, reported to us that how difficult it is to uh, raise children without husband and to uh, cope with all these sufferings during the time. Um, maybe you could, um, de son conjoint. at the end now, to Est-ce que vous pourriez peut-être pour conclure uh, votre déposition here, me dire ce que vous espérez trial, why did you a Ce que vous attendez du tribunal, vous êtes considéré partie civile your and what do you want from this et vous souhaitez trial. quelque chose, Maybe vous en attendez quelque chose pour votre mari, pour vous-même. Then I would suggest Peut-être pouvez-vous nous dire en quelques mots après quoi je vous suggérerai de Thank céder you. la place à votre fille. Yeah, I'll Madame Umsanti, thank you. 
Mr. Kostotinsky. Oui, merci, maître. Whenever I have to recall this account, I feel even more broken. Chaque fois que je me remémore tous ces récits, actually je m'en sens encore plus brisé. Pay homage to the dead soul of my husband Ici, je, and je my father and the lost family members. Ainsi qu'à tous les autres parents et proches qui ont été Some people say that I am here to take revenge. Certains But it is not true. Je suis ici pour I am here to find justice for my husband. Demander la justice pour mon mari. I am here to reveal the truth. Je suis ici why pour que people soit révélé la vérité. Why these barbaric acts were subjected and were inflicted onto the victims? Be was this because of the power uh, enrichment or for the personal gain or for what else? Convoitise personnelle ou est-ce pour I would like raisons? to tell your honors that uh, as a professor or school teacher anyone must be ethical and professional Je crois que and everyone un enseignant, un professeur must think of how to really build the country not de to struggle à la for power du pays et for personal Power. I would like to conclude uh, my deposition now, and oui, I apologize for ici. being too emotional sometimes. Et vous présentez mes excuses si j'ai parfois été un peu émotif. Suzanski, the president, uh, le président, Silk Stojinski, Stojinski, would you wish to make uh, or put some further questions to vous poser the question civil à la partie civile? Uh, no, I have no Maître further Stodinsky. questions non, at the moment, but I would thank Mrs. M. Sunti Sunti a lot that she arrived today here at the court to preserve la memory of her husband, but of course to all her mari, family members and uh, Cambodians. And I would thank you that you could have the force to sit Salut here before ici, the chamber and tell about your sufferings and to give your husband a face. De de and so I would um, there are no other questions, but f not from my uh, side. Uh, I would voilà, then Monsieur give uh, Sintari the floor. Et je pense que The President, the co-prosecutors, would you wish to put any questions to the civil party? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, comme demandé, nous n'avons pas de questions à ce stade-ci. Si nous en avions, nous pourrions les poser à la fille de Mme Imsouti. Nous remercions Mme Imsouti pour sa déclaration ce matin. The President, uh, the Defense Council, would you wish to put questions to the civil party? Mr. Castlewood, Mr. President, thank you, but uh, the Defense Council does Merci, not have any questions to put to this witness, à à this uh, civil party civile. correction. The President, uh, Madame M. Sunti, Madame M. Sunti, the hearing of your statement has now come to an end. And as scheduled and agreed that uh, more times uh, will be allocated uh, 
to your daughter to give her statement uh, now uh, you are allowed to sit back at your seat uh, and since it is an appropriate time to take the adjournment uh, we'll take the adjournment now and resume at 10 to 11. Correction, uh, we resume at 20 to 11. Some Jane Croucher. The Croucher, all rise.